Megan Jones, the winner of Coach of the Year. We know Megan, of course, as our Olympic medal winning eventing rider, arguably Australia's best. Welcome, Megan. <laughs> How are you, Ricky? Yeah. I'm great. <laughs> I was a little bit late before. <laughs> I was talking outside. <laughs> Megan, how are things going in your preparation? Is London looking good? It's looking better than it was at last year no it was, look, it was looking actually really good the horse was was super at sydney he's really strong right now super fit really match fit as well as had a, lots of starts this year won a heat this year so i'm actually feeling quietly confident quietly the center mm. to the whole world but yeah no, so, but no no he's he's feeling really good right now so i'm fingers crossed oh best of luck congratulations last weekend winner of the one star here in sydney yep. young horse tell us about that one She's actually out of a mare that's full sister to my old four-star horse, Irish Hallmark. So she's well-bred, out of our thoroughbred bit of stock horse cross stallion. So she's Irish, thoroughbred, a bit of stock horse. But she's just super and easy to ride and so trainable and, and tries really hard. And she's quite talented and she's had lots of wins this, this year. And, and Sydney was, a, was a, another really good win for her. So it's good. Great. So what, what's the next event for you? Down to Melbourne? Melbourne on her in the one star, the three star horse. I don't think will will be there. Hopefully, don't 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 have to. I do want to try and take about some jumping shows and some dressage days between now and selection date, June, June 18, just to keep him out there and doing things. But because we don't know till June 18 if we're on the team or not, or on the eight, then we fly out July the fourth. So you really really have got to give the horse a couple of weeks off, which I'm doing now and then just go full steam ahead like you're going to the games. You can't wait, you just gotta keep going and, and training like you're going. And if you don't, well then bad luck if you are, you've got a prepared horse for it. So, you know, you're heading back home after now? Yes, we actually, actually headed home on Sunday from Sydney. We were home for a day and a half. We flew up today, fly back to tomorrow. We're home for a day. I'll fly back up to Sydney on Friday and do a clinic, more more coaching, and then go go home again. Then we head down bump and bum up again after that. Uh, hard work. Badminton cancelled. Bad weather. Um, amazing. Big news this weekend, of course. Now, how will this impact upon London? Because knowing you, Megan, I'm thinking you're thinking of an individual gold medal. So. Some of your competitors would have been out there in badminton. Their horses are going to be standing at home in the boxes. Is this, you know, those people making the late, late run for it, trying to get the attention of selectors for their country, maybe tiring their horse out. Will this inadvertently be an advantage, badminton being cancelled? Maybe, um, but then I think at the end of the day, it then gives all the riders overseas who were going to do a four star in the Olympic year, now to do a three star and they can compare them more fairly against us doing a three star here in Australia. So it's always very difficult for the selectors to compare the four star results to a three star result in Australia. So it makes it more even and in one way harder for for them because they were planning on, on going there at the same time. The selectors could have an easier job and going, okay, everyone's even now, let's put them all out on the table and see, and see who we're gonna, going to take. But I think for the, those guys in England, just galloping the horses and training them properly is going to be very hard for them as well. And I think very difficult for them to stay motivated as well because, I mean, when it rains over there, it's not very nice. And like, we've got sunshine here and we're like having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all, all quite quite happy. So yeah, but still, for that event to be called off is just like a tragedy for everybody involved, really. Amazing, isn't it? Um, well, Megan, thank you very much. Great to talk to you. Very best of luck. Looking forward to seeing you in London. Thank you very much.